All right, we are started. Yeah. Welcome everybody. We're glad to have you guys back. Just give us just one second while we get this going. Hi. You do. There we are. All right, here. Do you want me to do you up? Turn around. Let's do up your apron. Hopefully you guys all are having a good week so far. Our week is crazy hectic, isn't it? It's always crazy hectic around here. <laughs> no That's what we do. Yet. Yeah, they will be soon. All right, so I hear Kate coming. Yeah. Here she is. Are we sure that we're going to finish the rings today? I think we should be able to finish our rings today. <gasps> Lindsay's on, Lindsay. and so is Maria from Glasgow. Hi, Lindsay. Here's the line of the day. I decided, like, it just <laughs> when I was coming downstairs, I was like, oh, I don't have a unicorn of the day. I'll just do that. Hugs in for me. Oh, sorry. I just barely started it. All I've done so far is tie Kiri's apron. So you weren't yeah, very you late. Put hugs on for me. What? You start it and you put hugs. Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, Somebody put hugs. Yes. Look, Kiri. Kate. Uh, Lindsay says she misses you. Me too. And yeah, Bobby's down here from Tucson. Tucson. She forgot this. What else did she forget? <laughs> Oh, she forgot her spinner ring. I forgot this. <laughs> I know, Lindsay has to come back you, now. You forgot, uh, you forgot us here. <laughs> Either that or you have to wait till October when we come down to the river. So everybody's popping oh, on now, so we welcome everybody. Go swimming. It'll be too cool to go swimming. Not in October down in Arizona. October? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, so hello everybody. Look, now we got a whole bunch of people jumped on. Yay. So, we all right, learned. housekeeping on things. Um, those of you guys, most of you guys are returning and we love that. Those of you who may be new, this is a live video, so anything goes, you never know what's going to happen. I have ADHD here and ADD here and ADD here, so we get a lot of off-topic tangents. If that bothers you, then I've got about 350 other videos that don't have that. Or watch the reruns, give everything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to give me some lotion? Do you put on too much? Yeah. <laughs> no, we're pretty awesome. Yes. So yeah, what's that? Thanks for the unicorns awesome. and hearts. I know. I know. Yeah. Thank you for the unicorns and the hearts. Yes, Jenna. I think our whole gang is here. We're almost here. I think we're missing Felix. I didn't see Felix yesterday. Who's Felix? Felix is one of our friends online, but I didn't see him yesterday. Um, you guys, it's amazing. So I, I told you guys a little bit about the online workshop that I'm going to be doing. I'm so excited about it. I'm excited and nervous because it's not finished filming yet. But this uh, freeform cuff, and I told you guys that I've all I've done so far is put out an email to see who is interested in learning more information, and it's already up over 600 people, which is phenomenal. I know. I was kind of excited. So people are interested in learning more. And starting next week, they, I will have a series of videos that's going to talk a lot more about it. Like I said, this course is a little different than what I've done before. I'm kind of excited about it. Um, so if you guys have not signed up, you're interested in learning more, this either is a six free videos, but the, the course is not free. Oh. Definitely not that part. But the, the six videos are going to be free and there's gonna be a lot of really good, helpful information in there uh, when it comes to working with torches and everything. Thank you. Can I see your bracelet, my angel, so I can bend it? No, not right now. Okay. Okay, not right now. So um, but anyway, if you want to be on that list, it's freeformcuff, C-U-F-F dot com, freeformcuff dot com. And then you can just put your email in there and it will add you to the list. And then when I start sending out information oh, oh. next week, we you will receive that. This? So actually, we need to talk a little bit Sam, about this. Sam. Okay, so what we have here, hold on. We have two rings that have now been made. Look how tiny Kiari's is. It's a little itty bitty thing. It's hard to see. <laughs> yes, it is hard to see because it's so little. So anyway, so no, they're there. Okay, so anyway, so we have both of the rings they're now. They're there. there. <laughs> no, they they're are there. there. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> I won't cry. <laughs> from so from anyway. Six <laughs> you girls are goobers. <laughs> so anyway, so we have Maybe. both rings. Uh, at this point, the girls have reshaped them. Why so Kiari's is almost brushes? done um, because I was polishing. Oh, so I don't know. 
No. I thought I did because you were wearing them. <laughs> Actually, you might need yours here in just okay, a minute because I am going to have you polish yours. So what we're going to do now, Kiari's has, let me see if I can zoom in on Kiari's ring. Let's see. We'll put it right here. You want to switch over to that bottom camera, please? Bottom one. Thank you. All right, so this one's Kiari's ring. Hers, and you can see there, there's our seam right there. Okay, so we have the seam here, but we also have kind of a little ridge right there where the seam kind of met up. So what I'm gonna have Kiari do, I want you seam, to run seam, that, seam. yes, I want you to run that in. In a or circle. Yep, a figure eight. So go ahead, whoa, now you totally took it off the camera. <laughs> you gotta let them see what you're doing right here. Yeah. There you go, you're good. Yep, you're good right there. So anyway, so what, push me out of the way, dingling. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just gonna have her sand those edges on that, and that's going to make hey, it so that we have. Mm. It's okay, just do it. <laughs> Kate's plugging our ears. So, at least it's not filing, mm -hmm. right? It could be worse. <laughs> um, so, Janet, there is a little bit. So, Janet asked, are the six videos the skills we should know and practice before taking the class? Not all of them. Um, a couple of the videos talk about the method that I use to teach and how it's different from some others. No, you want to make it so that it's all nice and even all the way around on the top. So, it should all look completely the same. So, there shouldn't be yeah, any... I was working on this side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's going to take you a minute to do that. Um, but there is a section where I go quite in depth on torches and how to figure out when you choose which torch and if your torch is adequate enough for the work that you're wanting to do. So a big thing that I'm going to be concentrating on with this workshop is torch control and um, using you know, getting to know what's happening with the metal and with your torch so that you can really see what's going on. Honey, you, I feel like you're barely touching it. Okay, that's looking good, but you can actually push it down a little bit harder on the paper, okay? Mm -hmm. And it will go faster, see? Can I do? Yep, so now do the other side. So it's okay to push a little bit harder. You don't have to push too hard, but give it some pressure and that will make it go a little bit like faster. I feel like it's gonna file my nails. It's sand down my nails. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it does file and sand down your nails. <laughs> Remember what I said? Metalsmiths don't have pretty hands. And I need to trim them anyway, so if they get filed a little, or stained a little. Then it's not so bad, huh? Yeah, because I'll, I'll just trim it anyway. <laughs> All right, and while she's doing that, so Kate's ring, Kate, I already annealed your ring. What's that mean? I, it means that I heated it polished? back up. Well, no, it's not polished. So we went through and we sanded it down so that you don't really see the seam anymore. Can I do it? And then I heated it back up. Yes, you can do circles. I heated it back up so that when we do the forming process, it will bend and form a lot easier. If you don't anneal it, what would happen? It'd be really tough. It could be really tough, and then what, what happens when you have tough metal that you're trying to form? It's just really, really hard and it can break. It can, it can break. It will crack. Right, because it, it can't it move, and so those bonds have to break. Yeah, that does look good. It now, looks a little bit bumpy. Yeah, they're still a little bit bumpy. What's that? Do we already file it then? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. Oh, no, I did not sand it. You're going to have to sand it. So there's one other place that we need to address on your ring, and that is the seam, okay? And that's just because it was just a little bit bumpy, and I don't even think it's going to take much. Oh, so what I'm going to do... That's cool. It's leaving metal stripes. Yep, it does leave metal stripes, Poor doesn't it? Sparkly. Okay. Don't Try not to sand the hearts. No, I'm not going to sand the hearts down. The hearts are actually lower than the little mm, frame that's yeah. around it. Okay? So yours, because of where it was cut, like we cut a part of the heart, so we're never going to really get rid of your seam too much. Okay? Mm -hmm. But we can at least get rid of some of that and make it blend just a little bit more. So notice that I do a little bit and then I look at it mm -hmm. because we don't want to do too much and we well, also want to make sure we're doing it in the right area, right? Okay, 
So I think that's good. So the next thing, Kiari, that you need to do is you need to do the inside of your ring. Kate, why don't you flip this up to oh, the wait, top where's camera? The file? Where's the file? Um, you need no, 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 no. I'm going to have you use the micro motor, and we're going to use. We're actually going to use some of these. These are silicone wheels, or in are this we case, using these it are on cylinders. The polishing stuff. A little bit, what yes. What's my mask? Uh, your mask is underneath mine. Okay. So yeah. So go ahead. Good morning, Judy. You know what? We're just barely getting started, so you have not missed much at all. You missed Kiari sanding her ring in circles. That's it. <laughs> and me putting on her apron. But thanks for that. the koala and heart. And thanks for the... <laughs> it's a kangaroo. You know, There's a kangaroo too. Do you see it? Oh, and the kangaroo. And thanks for the heart and the... Er, thanks for the unicorn, <laughs> the rainbow, and the thumbs up. <laughs> yes. So we have the silicone uh, polishing accessories. And in this case, they're I cylinders. And the cylinders, what did you do? I give it a thumbs up. Oh, good. That's good. So the cylinders are great because what we can do is we can fit it inside of your ring and then we'll just polish the inside of your ring like that. Okay, we're not going to take yours. I'm not going to worry too much about Can yours I getting a high inside? polish. Hang on. But what I do want to do is we want to kind of clean up the outside of this just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then remember when we did these paints mm -hmm. with your rainbow? Mm -hmm. so, I want to make mine pink. You want to do a pink? So I pulled out several colors so that you could choose what you wanted. But if you want to do the pink, pink, you know that. Well, it could have been red. Well, could we do rainbow? So, uh, no, red? on this one we can't really do a okay, rainbow. Pink. Okay. All right. So we will use these. So these are testers enamel paints. These are you can just find them over in the hobby stores, um, where you or would find Kohl's. like the model um, model airplanes, model cars, what things was like it? that. Kohl's? What? You could Kate, I won't need it. Place. It opens right up. Badoo! Yep, see? Woohoo! What's that? So the that, well, no, it just, it's a seal on it. Uh -huh. Okay, so, but we'll be good there. Anyway, what? so that's, I think, what we're going to do to yours. Kate, what I need what? you to do. Yes, put it back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, so Kate, what do you need to do on your ring? The person said, oh, great, that mm -hmm. she made it. Yes. She or he. All right. Is it a he or she? Her name is Judy. Well, well, She's in Australia. You remember we watched the kids movie, the, the video with all the kids saying, don't bully and be nice? Do you remember that video? They were singing and dancing around and talking about being nice. Hmm? You don't remember? I'll we'll have to show you again. But anyway, her... Is it like a Sunday movie? No. It's just a little short video on YouTube. I'll show it to you again, and then you'll remember. So Kate has her two spinner rings. Kate, I want you to um, try putting those on your ring right there. Okay, so just leave it right there. And then tell me, well, okay, but now you've got it off the camera. No, you totally could have done it over here. Come on, pull it back on the camera. Nobody likes watching nothing, silly. Okay, but you've got to pull yourself back. Okay, there you go. So, and then tell me what you think needs to be done with your rings. I can't see it now. Nope, she keeps pulling it off the screen. Right there. Oh, nope. Too far. Right there. Leave it right there. Oh, it's because we're on the wrong camera. Put us onto the bottom camera. There you go. <laughs> oh, okay, Judy, it says, gotta say no to bullying. Don't you remember that was the song that's gotta say no to bullying? Mm -mm. They're too tight. They are too tight. Okay. Only one is too tight. Not both of them. Right? This one's too tight. Correct. So, what do you need to do to stretch that it's out that. just oh. a little bit? Bing, 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 bing. Just, no, you can, it'll come off. I promise. Bing, bang. There you go. Hammer. Okay. Nope. Oh, we don't even have to use the hammer much. So, put it onto your ring mantle. Go ahead and move us onto a different camera so they can see what we're doing. Nobody can see anything. All right. Tell you what, just put it right here. Okay. Down a little bit. Right there. Okay. Up. Right there. <laughs> We're having a hard time here, Kate. So what I want you to do hammer, hammer. is you're going to bring this down just a little bit. I said hammer and you didn't okay. say... Well, it's, it depends on how you hammer it. That type. 
Okay, I need you to, you're just gonna take the hammer and you're gonna come up here and you're gonna strike that down just like that, just a little bit. Right now you're sitting at 10 and a quarter. I think we need to be closer to maybe a 10 and a half. Okay. And I think that that's all we need because it fits on your ring right now. It's just a little bit too tight. Don't you think? Yeah. Okay, so here's your hammer. Okay. No way, you, I'm not doing it. Well, then this. Uh, you want me to hold that while you hammer. I can't do both. I have to either use two hands. I'll bet I could do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what you do, set it up here on the table, okay? That way it's kind of stable. And just tap it down but all the way around. Oh, did we open up? Look. Our seam just opened. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, man. That didn't take much. All right, so well, you need to solder this. I will be right back and we go solder. Bye. Okay, you're gonna go solder it over there? Ah, okay. So why don't you go solder that? Yes, uh, it's right here. Will you hand me the torch? All right, so you go solder that close. So that's something that happens when you try to stretch your rings. Sometimes that, that's the perfect way to test your well, maybe seams. Maybe she didn't know where the seam was. It's over here, the little whiteboard. What? It's over, look over on the wall. It's over here. Okay, by the pickle pot, dude. It's over here. Okay, now to your right. <laughs> okay, yeah, that works. Yeah. Well, no, I have like 10 of them. Oh. <laughs> They're all over the Woo. studio. Okay, so Kiari, your rings. So you know what we need to do now is we need to get a bench pin and anvil. Like flux over there too. No, there's flux over there. Everything else should be there. The liquid flux. Oh, yeah, if you want liquid flux, you have to come over here and get it. Okay. I know. That's the problem with having two stations for soldering in the studio on the opposite ends of the room. Okay, so Kiari, you are going to take yours. Let me grab your mask for you. This is not too big of a room. Yeah, it's not too big. Behind yours, huh? Okay, your hair is already pulled back, so we're good there. I shall pull my oh, hair back. It's okay. It'll work. Yep, it's all right. Let's pull this back a little bit. Uh, help. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here you go. Yes, we're struggling. <laughs> no, you gotta leave one of them up on top, or else your mask is just gonna fall off. <laughs> My ears, my ears, my ears. Oh, you know what? School is going to be lots of fun this year with masks. Now with yeah. this time, we're going to get a face shield. Yeah, I think we're going to have to find some face shields. So we bought all those cute little masks. Well, I'm still probably going to use some masks every so often. <laughs> I'm still making masks, too. Oh. It's not working. Maybe you should go get your unicorn mask. Why don't you go grab a different mask? I don't want to get all dirty. No, it'll be fine. <laughs> this is what happens when you're just itty bitty. You can go get one of those other masks that we bought if you don't want to use yeah, your unicorn. Yeah. All right, hurry fast. Actually, yeah. Well, hurry, fun, I hurry feel fast. Like that unicorn one will get all dirty. <laughs> then just grab one of the other ones, honey. You've got like ten. It needs to be a lot. You know, that's got to be kind of tough to be like tiny. <laughs> Kiari's always been tiny, she'll always be tiny. I mean, look at this stinking ring. It's like a size three and a half. <laughs> it's tiny. So anyway, so Kate, do you need some help? Or you got it? I think I got it. See, and that's the, this is the test right here. If I can be over here and she's over there and she can solder it, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. And now you get to listen to me monologue. <laughs> well, hey, if you guys haven't already, you like the videos. Um, obviously, the live videos are going to end here. School starts next week. Matter of fact, today we almost didn't make it back in time. We had to go over to Kate's or yeah, Kate's school for her orientation. She is in high school now. Yep. My baby is in high school. <sighs> Not okay with that yet. But anyway, so we went and met all of her teachers and everything. Um, Sherry, if one can't find N95, what do you use? I have three layers of cotton with a PM 2.5. You want to know what? I Any mask is going to be better than no mask. Obviously, an N95, when you are working with sanding and filing or any of that is 
it's preferable to have an N95, but really I don't know that people are having too hard of a time finding those anymore. So if you head back over to your hardware store and head into that paint and sanding area, that's where I found mine. Um, now that's not to say that there isn't still an issue getting some of those, but I think that they're not as hard to find anymore. I don't know, but like this one, this just is, uh, it just came, you know, from the hardware, the hardware section or the sanding and painting section over at the hardware store. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of of the feeling you could also do a respirator. So that would be another thing that you could do. And then that one, you can even get different filters for whatever you're needing. So you could go N95 or you could even go higher than that if you needed to filter out some of those micro particles if you're doing say like enameling or painting or anything like that. How's that coming, Kate? Eh. Eh? Do you need some help? No. No? Okay. You got it? Here we go. <laughs> That's success. I love it. Are you sure it went? Yeah. Nice job. Okay, put that in the pickle and then We'll try again. What? I can hear her yelling upstairs. All right. Oh, good. Come on. People are waiting for you. They're bored of listening to me. Anyway, if you like the videos that I do, make sure you guys subscribe, thumbs up, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any. Make sure you comment if you want us back yep. so we can come back. Look how cute. Ow. What, Kate? You okay? Guys, make sure to comment that they, that they want us mm. back so that we can come back. Yeah, if you want the girls to keep coming back every now and then, make sure you comment. Give us some comments in the actual video, not just the comment section over here. Um, so Amazon does not have N95 yet. So uh, yeah, so look for the respirator. I've got, you know, I mean, you walk around and you look like an alien. <sighs> That's just later. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what you sound like too when you're wearing those. Okay, that looks great. Is it fogging up? Nope. Does it look like it's fogging up? A little. Either that or they're dirty. They might be dirty because they're not fogging up. Okay. So, what we're going to yeah, do on yours, Kiari, let me get this set up over here. Is a wipe that I can use? A what? A wipe that I can use on these really quick. Uh, I don't right now. I don't. Okay. Okay, but I think you're good. Okay, mm -hmm. so Kiari, what we're going to do... We're going to do a couple of different uh, things here. I think they're fogging up now. Are they? No, they're not. Yours are not fogging up. Okay, you're okay. They work for so look, so what we do, do here, I yes, do you, you know how to do this? Yeah. So you make sure you brace your hand on your bench pin, right? And you can put the ring down on it. And then you're going to brace your other hand also. Yeah, I know. And then you're just going to come work around. Okay? Mm -hmm. You want to try that? Wait, what are you doing? You want to stand up? Okay, that might be good for you. You're kind of, kind of little. Here, I'll tell you what, I will run the foot pedal. Okay. Okay. So, yep, just like that. Good. That looks really good, Kiari. Okay, and this hand, wait, you've got this hand floating. Okay, but look, you, I know. I know, but your hand was floating. Look at what we got. Ah, Sherry, that's so awesome. Okay. We'll do our little bow here in just a second. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Yes, there you go. So you want to make sure that you are braced here. Good. That looks good. Okay, you ready? Here comes the speed. Ready? Yep, and then just work your way around that ring. Nice. Okay, and I'm going to stop. Now I want you to flip the ring over. That is dirty. It is kind of dirty, huh? That's why we put that lotion on your hands so that when you wash your hands, it'll all wash off. Ready? Here it comes. Okay, whoops, keep this hand down. You're floating again. Remember, you gotta always keep your hands braced. There you go. I feel like it's hitting me. Probably is. Probably, Probably a little bit. Dad's home? Yeah. Wow, he's home I early. Thought he did. Well, I thought you said yeah. Riley came back home. No, no. Riley's not supposed to be home. Okay. All the time. Let's see. No, she didn't go to work today. She ran some errands for me. All right, that actually looks really good, Kiari. So what I'm going to do is we're going to switch this out, and we are going. Yeah, well, we're going to go to a silicone polish. All right, this one's going to make it a little bit brighter. Here you go. Glenda, isn't it amazing the difference? I mean, right now. 
look, I'm not doing anything. My hands, I'm just sitting here watching. Okay, you ready? Get your hands braced. So the girls are doing this one all on their own. It's kind of fun. Okay, you ready? Should you go check okay. it? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can go check it. See how smooth that is? It's kind of nice and smooth, isn't it? Okay, so now look inside. See any areas that need to have some addressing? See how there's some little white bumps in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so sometimes what you need to do with that, I'm going to hold your hands here for just a second. <laughs> hold your <laughs> You know what? I have another little tool that might help us here. Hang on. Look what I have. This will help us. Give me your ring. And let's see. So what we can do is we can place your ring inside of this. Mm -hmm. And now, let's see if we can get that here. There you go. And now we hold this. Don't squish too tight. Otherwise, if you do, you'll squish the ring. Okay? Okay, so here we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the direction of things. I'm sure Lindsay is still on. Lindsay, say yes if you're still on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there we go. And see how much better that is now? Oh, we need to. What do you think? We need to adopt Glenda. Ah, <laughs> uh, Glenda, you're adopted. <laughs> okay, I think I think we're good with that. What do you think? Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Doesn't that need to be called? No, I think we're gonna leave it like that on yours. I think that that's totally okay. So, what do you think? Do you like it? Mm-hmm. All right. So good. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of a nice tool, isn't it? to hold your ring like that. All right, so this is done. Actually, there's one more thing that I want to do on your ring. I want to take, and I'm trying to think of which one is best. If Lindsay's still here, she's not playing yet. Oh, then maybe she's not on anymore. Okay, um, so Janet, I bought this ring holder. I want to say maybe at Contenti, or it might have been, actually I'll bet it was Auto Fry, What's bless you. For? I'll bet it was Auto Fry for like three, four dollars. It was oh, very, very, very inexpensive. So yeah, so what we're gonna do like is we're gonna do around the outside of here. One of those clothespins? Well, and a lot of, matter of fact, some people will use clothespins, um, but sometimes the clothespins don't open up far enough. But it looks like a giant clothespin. It does look like a giant clothespin with a very tiny opening. <laughs> <laughs> right? But why do they have it like that? Why is it so small down here and so big up here? Look, you mommy. Need to be so you can grab the ring. Yeah, so that we have a big enough opening. You putting that in my bench pit. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do, Kiari, oh, on uh, yours. Camera. Yeah, hang on. We'll switch over to the other one. Okay, let's put this in here. Okay. And we'll switch back down so to this. this so now, what's that? Can I do this? It's just for bigger rings. No, because we are going to do the outside of your ring. Okay, so you want to do it? Do you do it Here, are you going to hold this? Do you do it like this? Yes. Do you do it like this? Yes, just like that. Did you do your thank you? Oh, we didn't. We forgot our thank you. Okay, hang on. We got to do our thank you. Okay, ready? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's on the right camera. It's coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Silly bum. Okay, what's that? I know. It's, it's a little behind. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, so thank you so much, Sherry. All right, you ready? So what are you going to do? Yep, get everything supported. Kate, you need to move your head. You've got it right in front of the camera. Thank you. Okay, you ready? Here it comes. So you're just gonna run along the outside of that. Good, yep, just like that. Nice. Okay, and then move the ring around. And we'll have a question. Okay. Have you sold all of your Labrador right yet? No. You guys should go buy Mommy's Labrador. Well, I have to get it listed first. Uh, okay, so ready? There you go. Never mind. <laughs> List your Labrador right now so you can go buy it. I know. You should take photos for me so I can go list it. Okay. And now move your ring again. Okay. Ready? Okay. You guys, she's doing all of this. The only thing I'm doing is controlling that foot pedal. That's so awesome. 
<laughs> so what color um, is she starting to polish with the little ring? So we actually just did a couple of different things. Uh, we used an inside or just kind of a sanding band for the sandpaper rolls and this was a 320 grit. Are you having fun? Trying to feel what it feels like? <laughs> All right, you're done. Can I do this part? Um, are you? Yeah, if you want to try. Here, rest your bum up against me so that you can. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Do we need to take it out? Nope, we're done. So if you're if you're done on the outside of your ring, then you're done. Okay, put it down here. Nope, you float. Remember, we never want our hands floating. We always want to be mount. Somehow, we want to be supported. Here we go. Okay, careful not to go too fast. Make sure you stay in control of it. So now she's actually doing the control on the foot pedal. Good. Okay. So we started with uh, the 320 and then we went to a pink silicone. And there's not really a grit that is associated with the silicones. Um, but we went to the pink and that just gave us kind of a nice little finish on the inside, which is what we want. So it's kind of like a matte or kind of a brushed finish. Now you're just having fun. Me. Goober. That okay. is so fun. I know, you're just playing around now. Mm. So anyway, and that's what we're gonna leave this as yeah. because we are not actually going to polish this. Now what we are going to do is we are going to put our paint on it, right? Should yes, it, well no, if you wanna go get some, do we wanna get some gloves? Yes, please. Okay, why don't you go get some gloves? You know where they are in that first drawer? Which um, In that bench next to my computer table. Yep, right there. Stop. Come back over to the other end. No, I think it's in the first one. Yes, that one. Yes, grab a pair for me too, please. Uh, Kate, do you want to see how your ring is coming? Okay. And then I will get this set up so that we can get hers. All right, so in her ring, let me see if I can show you guys this. In her ring, there is, so you'll see, the, they've got the little, hold on, hang on. You've got the little hearts, oh, come on, focus, there we go. We've got the little hearts, but there's these little rails. And so, and the heart is, uh, it's bumped up. So we've got a depressed area and then the, the relief area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in, in between the hearts, and then like I said, there's this little rail here that I think will work really well to hold that paint into place. So that's kind of our goal on this one. There we one. go. All right, so what we're gonna do, Kiari, is we are going to pull this into here. All right, and let's move these guys out of our way since you said you want the pink, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. this is, you love pink? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's our pink. Do you remember how we did it? Uh, yeah, you grab a toothpick. Yep, and I already have the toothpick. Let's put this guy, Oop. there we go. So, you are just going to take just a little bit, right? And then you'll just kind of drip it in here and yep. push it around, okay? I know. <laughs> I know those gloves are huge on you, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you get in there okay? Let me move the bench pin. There you go. Can you do it? Um, Huntress one, yes. We have actually had some very, very good experience with this paint. Let me see, Kate, do you know where your cupcake is or Kiari's rainbow piece? Um, My rainbow piece is in the drawer. Is it in the drawer? Let me grab those while you're Can doing that. Piece? Yes, because we can wipe it off. It's on your bench? Okay. Uh, Kiara, your rainbow is not in your That's bench. Upstairs, it? it was down here. I'm not sure what happened to it. it oh. Oh, so yours is upstairs? Where's your cupcake? Around. <laughs> so we can't find either one of them? Well, Lindsay moved stuff around, so I don't know where. Look in your bottom drawer. See if it's in there. Nope. So okay. All my stuff displayed. Hmm. All right. 
So we'll have to find them a little bit later. Oh, that looks really good, Kate. You did a nice job on that solder seam. Good. I had all this stuff just laid out here, like, right here. Hold on. Hmm. All right, we'll find it. We'll find it somewhere. But yeah, so we've actually had really good... Uh, Oh, Marianne, perfect, thanks. So, Marianne, we've actually had some really good experience with this. I wish that we could find our little pieces that we have made with it already, but it's been fantastic. So, not only did it dry well, but it's been fairly durable as well. So, I know, Kate. I know, you've said that. We'll find it. It's okay, we'll find it. But anyway. I don't know. Everything got moved around because we had to. Um, yeah, I don't know where any of it is. Darn it, that's too bad. But anyway, yeah, so we've had really good experience with it on the metal. How's that coming, baby? But I just feel like all of it's rubbing off and coming on me. It'll be okay. It'll be okay, kids. And that's why you wear the gloves, right? Okay, try to keep your hands down here on the paper towel so they can kind of see what you're doing. That's going to be really a pretty ring, honey. And so what's going to happen? Yeah, because your fingers, now you're kind of getting it on things. Uh, let's see, wonder what we could use. Like it might be kind of handy if we'd had like some kind of a dowel, but I don't really have a dowel. Let's see, I think that looks I really good. I it and then do it. <laughs> yeah, that would be one thing, huh? Um, hold on. You don't want to put nope. I think that you're good right now. I think that that's, you've got it nice and covered. Let's let it dry for a little bit. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll clean up all the paint that's kind of in the wrong areas. I put the lid on. Okay. Yeah. So I think we're done. That looks really good, Kiari. Nice job. Oh, I should have put that lid on because you're covered in paint here. <laughs> Now I'm going to be covered in paint because you got paint all over everything. Okay. I'll wipe that off. All right. So we'll let that sit and then we'll do another coat after that coat dries. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lindsay, the ghost of visit past. Yes. The okay. cupcake, she says, is in the bottom drawer. That is where she put it. Who's so go look Lindsay again. From Who's the Lindsay? Ghost of something past. <laughs> the ghost of visit past. It's our friend, Lindsay. All right, so Kiari's ring is done for as much as we can do for it right now. So what will happen? Do they feel weird? Because there's a little bit of powder. Oh, you did find them? Okay, good, bring it here. All right, so anyway, what we would do with hers is let it sit here. So look, this is Kiari or Kate's pendant that we use for those paints. So we, all of, the, all of those colors that you see, except for the stones, of course, are those paints. Mm -hmm. And um, they've got the metallic ones and everything, they're great. All right, so there is that for yours. So Kiari's just needs to sit and dry, we'll do another coat, and then after that's all done, we'll come back and yeah, clean it up. Some, yep, it's a cherry. Yep. Okay, so Kate, on yours, you ready to try this ring again? Hand me a ring. While you're doing hers, okay. can I take a break? You sure can go take a break. Why don't you go up and talk to Dad for a bit? I'm okay. Okay. Why don't you tell everybody goodbye, because I don't think you're going to be back. Bye. Have a happy unicorn day. Does the paint chip? <laughs> Does the paint chip? Uh, really? Marianne, we've not had that experience yet, but that's not to say that it wouldn't. So, for I don't us, know. it hasn't. Mm -mm, not yet it hasn't. So, we'll know if it ever does. okay, so here's what I would do, Kate. This is what I was talking about. So, I've got it mounted here on the table, not really mounted, but I've, I've just set it on the table and I'm holding it and pushing it down so that it stays stable on the table. And then I would just tap down, okay? It's not even going to take very much, right? Okay, because right now, now we're at 10 and a half. So, you saw it didn't take much at all. And in order to get it off, sometimes you just have to kind of hit it the opposite direction until you can loosen that up. Now try this on your ring and see if it fits better. Okay, much better. So it wasn't even much that you needed because it was already 
Um, <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> yeah, spin it off. So it was already pretty okay, close to the fit. You will not be able to do that soon, correct. All right, so Kate, what kind of finish do you want on the outside of your ring? And what kind of finish do you want on these rings that are going to be your spinner? It does look a little bumpy. You need to hit that with a file. Mm -hmm. Get back over here. Get your butt over here. No file. Get your butt over here. Here. Birthday. No, your birthday was after mine and we're closer to your birthday, so you get to do it now. You mean we're actually closer to your birthday, because my birthday already happened, mine was the last to happen, which means we're actually closer to your birthday because your birthday is the next one to happen. Nope, come on. Nice try. Here you go. Nope, you get to do it. It's not going to take much at all. So what's <laughs> happened here is she has a little bit of reticulation where she heated it up just a little too much when she was doing the solder. The here you go. So, tell you what, this one right here, if you're gonna do in the grooves here, look, I'll show you. So if you're gonna do in the grooves here, we would just come in right here with a half round file, right? And then look, if you do here at the top, I would put it on my bench pin and just come up and around like so. Look at what a nice mother I am. Look what I'm doing for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't be a pansy. Wimpy, wimpy. <laughs> all right, and that's all it took. So Sorry very, very little. Oh man, look, you guys didn't even see that because I had it in the wrong direct area and she didn't tell me. I didn't look at so it. So sorry. I was looking at this. <laughs> see, look, um, Berna says, always listen to your mom. Always listen to your mom. Except for when she's wrong and being bad. Your mother is never wrong. Moms know everything and we're always right. I hope you're always right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what kind of finish do you want on these? What do you mean? So do you want it to be shiny and bright? Do you want it to be patinaed? What do you want? Oh, that doesn't help well, anybody. Look good. Um, I think you could do either one. I actually kind of think if you polish this, well now we've got kind of a high polish here. So I would say take your file and just go really quickly over the outside of this. Leave this one as it is. Put a little brighter, we could do um, a matte finish on this. We can use this right here, which is a satin finisher. Okay, do a satin finish on this ring and I think you'd be good. Okay, can I do this then you can do that one? <laughs> I will do that for you. Okay. Okay. So here's this. So make sure you work right here. Okay, we'll put in the satin finisher. All right. You? you work there. Um, they cannot see that right there. That's good. Let me back it out just a little bit and then that'll be easier to keep in the focus. All right, you do that. Just the outside? Just the outside. Yep, just the outside. Oh, that really bad. How does that sound bad? Back there, my <laughs> Sounds beautiful. Plug my ears. Oh, just do it. Concentrate on what you're doing. So you want to make sure you keep your pressure even, right? Mm -hmm. Keep your pressure even as you work on that. And then just go all the way around the ring. Make sure that you work in smooth strokes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, there you go, just like that. You can go a little bit faster. So I believe that these can go, I think these finishers go to five or 10,000. Now hold up, you should be wearing safety glasses, butthead. Oh. There. <laughs> there. So now you got it. <laughs> so I put the safety glasses on her and they were like under her nose. So, you know. Okay, so go ahead and give it a little bit more pressure as you do this. Like actually push down on it. 
there you go. Yeah, that's looking good. And I would actually hold it with your finger and your thumb, hold your ring. Okay, that's not a finger and a thumb, that's two fingers. But okay, that works too. <laughs> Goober. All right. Um, so Kate is using what is called a satin finisher. And Babette, there is a new video series coming out. So Fordham has just put together some accessory kits. I don't think you're actually gonna be able to get in there. Oh, nope. No, you can't get in there with that one. And that's okay, we've got other ways that we can finish the inside even so that it's a satin finish. I have some smaller ones. I thought that way. Yes, good. Okay, so I think we're good there. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to do your spinner ring itself, right? So now let's move stuff out of here. We're gonna move this right here so we can see that. So what we're going to do on this part, look at this part. And then Sherry, there's there's a video coming up where I introduce all these little satin finishers. They've got, they just put together an assortment kit that has like one of each of them. It's kind of cool. All right, so what we're going to do, we're, we're using this tool. This is a fret spinner ring or spinner ring making tool, I guess, what we would call that. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this to help flare. Now, hold on, take it out for a sec. There are two holes in this, and you'll notice that one is smaller and one is bigger. Any idea why? Because different sized rings. Yep, different sized rings. So Kate's fingers are pretty small. We've got a smaller ring, so we're gonna use the smaller one. Yeah. And what that, the difference is, when you use our little uh, kind of a pusher tool, with the smaller ring, it doesn't allow that tool to go down as far as if we were to use the bigger one. So notice here, that goes in there pretty far, and then this one just doesn't go quite as far. So if we had a large ring, it would be possible to bottom out on this before we actually did any of our flaring. And that's when you would move to the larger hole. But Kate's got some small fingers, so we will let her do this one. Now notice that I don't have the spinners on here yet. When we do this, I'm only going to be flaring one side, mm -hmm. okay? We're going to be using a one pound frets stamping hammer. So we've got the brass side that we're using on that. So you remember how to do it? So here, good, you've got a nice hold on it. If you want to, Kate, you can take this finger right here and you can place it up next to your ring and where it holds onto this and you can feel when your ring flares. Not very comfortable, but like, it's a little bit harder to hold okay. like that. Okay, well here, let's move this too. So get yourself into position where it's comfortable. That is a little, I thought you came up with spinner rings. <laughs> you thought I came up with spinner rings? Mm -hmm. I'm not quite that cool, but that would be kind of awesome, huh? Yeah, I was like, oh, mommy invented spinner rings. No one else has one. <laughs> okay, put it back here on the camera. There you go. Okay, so we want to give it some decent taps. You are not held straight up and down. I can see that. Okay, so now do it again. And again. And again. Okay, so I actually kind of watched, I sat here and I watched as this flared. So there's not much of a flare. I guess we better leave it down here, huh? Because that's the camera we're on. <laughs> so there's not much of a flare out here, but I can see it. And hopefully, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it starts to kind of flare up right there. Mm -hmm. If we were to put your spinners on here. They can still come off. They might. Maybe not. I mean, mm -hmm. so see, we've got enough of a flare that that's holding that at this point. But I think we need to flare just a little bit more. Okay. So go ahead and put that on there. Is that the right side? Mm-hmm. Yep, so go ahead and give it a couple taps. You can actually give a couple good size taps. If you are hitting hard, you want to do fewer taps and then test it. So, because if you, if you go too hard, you might go too far. So that's looking pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. So we're on there, it's holding. Still not flared enough, but it's yeah. flared enough for us to move on. So now we're gonna put the spinners on. We'll put this back on here again. And now we're gonna flare the opposite side. Okay. So go ahead and give it a couple of taps. Do it like you're upset with Kiari and Riley. There you go. <laughs> Was that? One more? Yeah, give it one more. Okay, so now let's take it off. 
All right, so we're starting to see a good flare. Neither one of our rings comes off, so that's a good thing. So now we're gonna go ahead and spin it, flip it back over again, and we're gonna do it a few more times. Okay. All right, and again. All right, that's actually looking really good. I watched that as that metal moved out. That's beautiful. Let's see, how close are we? I think we're doing really good. So we'll flip it back over again and do the opposite side one more time. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, and then what I do is I'll pick it up and I'll hold it like this. Can you see that this side is flared more than this side? You see that? So what I do is I spin the ring around and I look at that to see if it's even or where I have uneven spots. All the way along, this side is flared more than this side. So that's good. So what do we need to do? Flare that thing more. Yep, oh. we need to flare this side a little bit more. Not a whole ton, but a little bit more. Oh no, you're gonna need more than that. I don't want it. Oh, come on. No, you're gonna have to give it a good hit. Uh-uh, that's not doing anything. A good hit. A better hit. Give me an I'm upset at Riley hit. You didn't really move it yet. It, you need to give it, <laughs> you need to give it I'm ticked off at Riley hit. There you go, that was a much better hit. Did I hit it so now, now to the side? Okay, so if it went off to the side, then we'll see if maybe we've got an uneven spot, but we don't, it's all looking really good. That looks even all the way around. When we put it over here, like even if I, if I bring my spinner over so that it's um, kind of crooked, it's still not even really close to where it would pop off. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're looking for. That looks really, really good, honey. I think that looks great. Try it on. Which finger did we pick? I think you picked your, I don't remember which finger you picked actually. Okay. Well, keep it on the camera, dingling. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, look, people can't see what you're doing. Yeah. Okay, so is that, does it feel comfortable? I mean, do you like it? Mm -hmm. That's a really pretty ring, dude. I like that. So now, what do you have left to do on this ring? I don't know. Wear it to school. <laughs> Wear it to school? Well, yes. And, be, you know, I mean, because it's a ring that you made yourself, go ahead and take that off. You could leave it as it is, but in order for you to do it real properly, you still need to clean up on the inside of this ring. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me get the bench pin and anvil one more time. All right, here we go. And so what we're going to do is I'm gonna have you use those silicone polishers. Hey, welcome Nazim, it's good to see you. All right, so here's this. Let's see, move this back over here a little bit. All right, so Kate, pull it over here on the bench pin, please. All right. <laughs> you are going to use the silicone polishers. We already have it fairly cleaned up in there. All right. I can see where uh, when I annealed it, there's a little bit of the solder right here. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we can pull that down here just a little bit. So there's a little bit of the solder ghosting in there yeah. and that will clear up with this. Mm -hmm. So I'm using a blue silicone polisher. Which you right. can barely tell because it's I know because it's got some stuff on it, huh? So go ahead and you're going to come in here and go around the whole ring. Okay. I can only tell from the top. It's blue. Yeah, that's true. All right. So, Kasim said that your ring is fantastic. It is, and you know what? It's the fun part about this. She made it. She's made all of it. She did all the soldering. She did the forming. She did the cutting. This is Kate's ring. This is kind of awesome, Kate. Okay, so yeah, now you see how like you've got, when you do this, only one side is getting polished. So what do you need to do to make sure that you get yeah. all of it polished? Yeah, you just need to kind of tilt it, good. It goes wavy. It goes wavy right there because there's um, some little imperfections on that. Um, 
Thank you, Babette. That is such a high compliment. I feel like I'm so discombobulated when I'm doing these videos. Babette said, Melissa, you do such a seamless job of switching between cameras and bench pins and children. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> I think you had to switch between us. I thought you just ordered us around. Yeah, I do. I order you around. Do this, do that, do this, do that. Pretty much. Okay, so now rotate your ring around because... What I, doing? I was trying to get this one edge. Okay, good. Yeah, and then you'll rotate it around. Yeah, that's perfect, Kate, just like that. And I like how you are mounting your hands up against your bench pin on both sides so everything is nice and stable. That's really good. I'm probably just going to work on one side and then I'll flip it around. That's exactly how I do it. Yeah, that's looking really, really good. So, I have to say you guys, it's pretty exciting. I love being able to do this and I love, I love that, I mean, we haven't been in here all summer long. Like this year has been, well, the summer, well, the, okay, the year sucks, right? <laughs> but this year has been crazy, but the summer, like I said, I, like I was telling you guys yesterday, remember when we were getting ready to end the videos, we found out that my mother-in-law was sick and two weeks later she was gone. So then was we had the funeral. Yeah. Jeez. I know. Well, no, we found out she was sick at the end of, at the end of June. And then she died the day after dad's birthday or day before dad's day birthday. Day before because. Yeah. So June 11th. I mean, so, I mean, it was like boom, boom. And not June 11th. It's July. Or July 11th. Thank you. You don't July. even know his birthday. Oh, Jeez. I do. I do. July 11th. I mean, so it's been crazy and the girls just have not been down here in the studio. So to have them do this whole project by themselves, I mean, both of the girls started the torch themselves. Both of the girls did all of the solder process. Both of the girls now have been doing, done all the polishing. I'm kind of excited. What are we doing tomorrow? I don't know. We'll have to figure it out because now we've finished up our projects for today. That looks really good. If you want, we can do this now with the cotton buff, okay? And a little bit of our polishing compound, which, where did that go? We lost it. Ah, uh, we did lose it, which is easy to do in here. Here, oh, it's right here. It's just be hiding behind the butane can. So this is platinum white. Everyone go around. Yep, pull the thing in. <laughs> Aw, Louise, you're very kind. You're very, very kind and sweet. Thank you. So, all right, platinum I white I think from. She's patient on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely have a lot more patience on camera, huh? <laughs> Aw, thank you, Janet. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, all right, so what I want you to do now is this is a cotton buff, all right, and notice that it's like pretty small now and it, that makes it perfect to get inside of the rings. Keep going, you've got two snaps that goes on that one, yep. So there we go. <laughs> all right, there you go, good. And so on this one, Kate, you need to again make sure you've got your safety goggles, oh, get those goggles. And you want to make sure you've got your mask because anytime we work with a polishing compound and really we should do that, even if you're doing your silicone or anything else, you want to make sure you've got your mask on, your safety glasses, hello fingerprint right in the middle of the glasses. Hi, you can now find me in the middle of the street. <laughs> in the middle of the street? Well, it's the middle of Harmon's, I guess. Why is that? Store. Because now they know what I look like with a mask. Oh, there you go. <laughs> You're fucking up. <laughs> oh, I hate the whole fogging thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this. We will come back to this camera. Here you go. So load up a little bit of the polishing compound. I can barely hear you. I know. I sound normal. <laughs> <laughs> At least yeah. I think I do. There you go. You need to have, yeah. Yep, so you just need a little bit. Ah, it moves. It's okay. So what I would do is actually come in here. I got enough thing. Yeah, so what I would do though is just come in like that. Okay. There you go. And then go on the inside. Yep, go on the inside. Don't even worry about the outside because we wanted that one to be more of a satin finish. And you can go faster. You want to go faster on this one. Pull your hand down here just a little bit so that they can see what you're doing. There you go. Oh, look how pretty that is. Give it some pressure. That's what's going to give you that nice mirror shine. Okay, good. And then flip your ring over and do the opposite side. Look at how pretty that is, Kate. Mm -hmm. It's like mirror finish. Yay! There you go. 
Yep, and then just go work your way right around. Nice. Oh, that's so pretty. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. And then what will be good about this too, hang on, let me show. It's got like little black streaks. Well, the little black streaks, honey, that's just the polishing compound. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. Now you guys can see it. Look at that. Look how nice that is. So anyway, so now that you've got that done, Hey, Lori, welcome. All right, so now that you have that, now the black streaks, that's just polishing compound. So you would take that over and just wash it out with hot soapy water and it'll come right off and it won't turn your finger black. Oh, my fingers are black. <laughs> yes, well, that's because jewelers do not have pretty hands. You are getting to be legit. I'm a stop motion. <laughs> I do stop motion. <gasps> yes. I still think we should right. edit my stop motion before Christmas and like yes. on Christmas Eve or something on Mirror Mania. And like this spins okay. beautifully, Kate. What do you guys think? If on Mirror Mania on Christmas Eve, if I did a live video of my stop motion that I am working on, my Christmas stop motion, would you guys come and watch it? What do you mean a live video? Or are you talking about like where we do premiere. the premiere? The live premiere. Okay, where we do a premiere. Because you can't really do a live one of those. No, and we'd have to run the premiere here because our other channel yeah. they can't comment on. Well, you couldn't comment on it anyway. On Mirror Mania? No, you couldn't comment on the video anyway because it's a stop motion with dolls. You can't comment on that one anyway. Why? Because it's a stop motion with dolls. You won't, you're not allowed to comment on it because of what YouTube's laws or rules are. So well, then you can't do a mirror. premiere, or can you still do a premiere? I'm pretty sure you can still do a premiere because I watched a premiere of someone doing a stop motion the other day. And their channel, normally you can't comment on them? Yes. Hmm. We'll have to look into that. You can't, you can't so. do the live comment, you can't do live chat stuff, mm -hmm. but you can still do the premiere. Nice. Uh, Glenda, the Janet, or er, okay. you're telling Janet the real item. Is that for, which item is that one for? Is that the, because I didn't, I missed some of the comments that you guys had going on here. <laughs> oh, Bobby, you're so sweet. She said, I'll watch anything that comes out of the mirror household. So she's totally in for watching your stop motions. Well, I started working on it a couple days ago, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we could always do too is we can probably could minutes. put it in like an unlisted thing. I don't know. We'll have to look. We'll look and see what we can do. But yeah. Oh, okay. The fret spinner tool. You don't want to get that from Rio. Come on. You want to get that from tool candy store. And right now you guys actually, I think for another week, maybe everything frets is 25% off at toolcandystore.com. Boom. So that's where you want to shop. Not Rio. Come on. <laughs> She's just trying to promote stuff. <laughs> I need some help. My studio is poor right now. <laughs> but yeah, so toolcandystore.com and that right now everything frets. All of the hammers, the spinner ring tool, all of it. It's 25% off. So it's a good one to do right now. So, all right, there's your ring. So you just need to wash that soap and water and you're okay. done. Give me five. Girlfriend, you did that whole thing. Yay. I am so proud of you. That's so awesome. My girls have skills. They're not going to starve. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't planning on starving anyway. No, but later on in life, you'll have some skills. You can make stuff and... Well, I've got this just in case any other plans fail. <laughs> there you go. I've got backups. <laughs> <laughs> How sad is that? Mom, my backup is to be like you. <laughs> All right, you guys. That's like one of my last backups. I've got stop motion. I've got jewelry. I've got. You should go. What you should do then is get your stop motion stuff going, and then you could go work with Ardman Studios and go make a whole bunch of Sean the Sheep ones. Aww. We like Sean the Sheep. Come on. But I want to do acting stuff. That'd be you want to do acting stuff? Well, you could still do acting. They're called voice actors, right? And then you don't have to be in front of the camera, a little Miss Shy. I'm in front of the camera right now. Yes, and a lot of times you're a lot more shy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's well, it. you guys, we have to come up with another project for the next two days. I have no clue yet what we're going to do, but we'll make it good. We'll do something. So, yes. Oh, you're on my hair. 
Wait, you need your hair? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was pulling on it, though. All right. Um, oh, Janet, we love Shaun the Sheep. Did you know that there was like a new series that they put out? So they have all the original ones out on Amazon. And then on Netflix, they did a whole new series. And they're kind of fun. She really liked it. And I think we watched the entire thing in like a week. <laughs> oh, did it even take us that long? I mean, there's only like 10 episodes. So maybe 12, if that... There wasn't okay, so very probably many. in a day. <laughs> <laughs> um, Judy, yeah, Kate. Kate's actually doing a lot better on camera, um, and we we're not we don't have a headache today. Well, there's still always a headache, but we don't have the headache today. <laughs> so mean. that always helps, right? Yeah. So, all right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And again, those of you guys who sponsored us monetarily, thank you. We really appreciate that yeah, a lot. Awesome. Yes, you are. Um, okay, so the spinner ring tool, 6746 if you go through toolcavitystore.com. That is a pretty good price because I think they're normally like 80, 90 something Ooh. like that. Yeah, they're not they're not cheap, cheap. But you I saw also you. how easy it is to make <laughs> things. And it, you don't have to have this, okay? You, it's not a necessary thing. I like it because it it's gives me easy. consistent results. Uh, before that, and like even the tutorial that I have out on my website uses a dapping block. Okay, and so the dapping set works also, but there are some intricacies that are a little bit different. This, I've had consistent results and it's very, very easy to use. So there's, there's a few different options out there. She's trying to convince you to buy it at this point. No, I'm just, <laughs> no, that's why I said, you know, there's, a, there's other options. There are other options, but this one is, and, and there's other spinner ring tools, but this is the best one that I've used so far. Cause there's others that like you kind of screw them together. And so they, if you but want to this make works spinner the best. rings. If you want to make spinner rings, I would definitely invest in this tool. But if you're not going to make spinner rings the whole time, then. I would still invest in this tool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would invest in it, you already have it. Well, then I, but I'm just telling you if I didn't have it, I would. Cause I like it. It's a good tool. But, uh, <laughs> never mind. I love you. Okay, guys. We will see you guys tomorrow. What time? 145 Mountain Time. 145 Mountain Time. We will see you guys then. I have no idea what we're going to do. but Figure it out. Probably like five minutes before we start. But you know. <laughs> That's usually our Maybe MO. the like moment we're pressing start. But you know. That's possible. It's been known to happen. It has definitely been known to happen. Did that happen to uh, Benira, where do you get it? At toolcandystore.com. Toolcandystore.com. All one word. Because, you know, we like shopping at the Tool Candy Store. I mean, who doesn't? You know. Why not the Tool Toy Store? Because candy store. Like, we go shop at the candy store. I haven't gone Nobody to can candy resist the candy store. I haven't gone to a candy store in a long time. I've gone to a lot of toy stores. Yeah, but so why not the tool well, because we did tool candy store, so that's, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, toolcandystore.com is where you get that veneer, and then uh, that will take you to micro tools. So don't freak out if all of a sudden you see that you're at micro tools, uh, because toolcandystore.com is my partnership with them. I had an idea to make a cool little mini advertisement with my dolls. You know oh, yeah. how you have some of the mini tools? Oh yeah. I can make a stop motion. Well, I think of them they, making but they're going to be like this big, even though they're mini tools. They're going to be like your dolls are going to be like. <laughs> okay, so I make clay tools, <laughs> and then I make an advertisement, and we can post that. There you go, for toolcandystore.com. I like that. Yeah. There you go. So I think <laughs> we got a new advertisement coming up for toolcandystore.com. All right, like guys. Next year, though, because I'm working on. <laughs> stuff in six All right. Months. We got to go get ready for Taekwondo. Yep. We will see you guys later. Have a good one and we'll see you tomorrow. 145 Bye. Mountain Time. Bye.